to my channel. Today I'm going to be doing my October favourites because scarily enough it's already the 2nd of November. I don't know how on earth it's got this um, late in the year and how on earth it's got this close to Christmas and how I haven't even thought about Christmas presents yet but I definitely need to start thinking about that this month. Um, but yes, I'm really sorry for my pause in videos. Life is just so hectic as per usual. Um, but yeah, let's get into this video and hopefully you enjoy. Just a disclaimer, as per all of my favourites, if you are a regular viewer, you might see some of these things that are in my favourites video have been featured before. I'm not all about showing new products all the time because every month I don't always do an awful lot of shopping, so I don't always have that much new stuff to show you. So if I've loved something and I've loved it before, I'm going to show it to you again because it's like a seasonal favourites and you can see my style, how it changes or how it is exactly the same through every month or through year to year. So yeah, if you don't like that feature with my favourites then please let me know and maybe I'll just cut it back to brand new items to my channel. Um, but yeah, if you do, then also equally let me know. So yeah, let's get started. So October for me was a big month for skincare. I had a massive time, not a massive time, it was only a month, but I had about two weeks worth of breakout and I had a complete meltdown as far as my skin. I was like, what on earth has happened? Usually my skin is really sort of calm. I have a couple of breakouts and that's about it. But I had a week of complete like mayhem over here and mayhem up here um, and I'm just about getting to the point where I'm really really happy, happy with my skin again. So with that, um, the October focused on skincare for me. I was cutting everything back and trying to figure out what on earth had irritated my skin. I'm still not 100% sure, um, I had just started using an oil on my skin and I think my skin liked that for a while but then it got a bit too much and then that sort of broke me out. Um, but I cut everything back down again and I fell in, back in love with some items that I didn't, I wouldn't readily say I wanted to fall in love with. I fell back in love with Hydrazen by Lancome. These are travel sizes, little tester sizes that my grandma actually gives to me <laughs> when she buys her um, foundations and things. She gives me the gifts that she gets free with it. And for some reason, I think because my grandma uses it, I find Lancome a really more mature brand than me and I wish I could be like oh I love using all these other really cool brands but for some reason they don't work as well for me and maybe my skin is just genetically proven to love Lancome <laughs> it's just no it's in your blood of this um, but yeah um, for some reason it works really well for me I have a sort of a combination to more drier skin type especially in the winter um, and so Hydrazen works really well for me. This is just the original day without the SPF and this is the night. It works really well because I have a lot of redness and I think it reduces the redness for me. But anyway, stopping with my rambling, I'll just quickly get into it. These are pretty much empty. I don't know if you can see, but there's not an awful lot left in there. And I desperately wanted to buy these, but then also didn't want to spend £39 each on some cream. So I had a hunt and I had a bit of a think, a bit of a brainwave, and my real favourites of this month, although the Lancome is, my real favourites is this. Dun, 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 dun. And it's L'Oreal um, skincare. L'Oreal owns Lancome, so um, I was reading up on blogs and things and kind of figured out that they're pretty much of the same strain. Whether they are the same products, I don't know, but I think they are a sim similar product. So I went for the Triple Active Day Multi Protection Moisturiser from L'Oreal for the daytime, and the Triple Active Night Hydrating Night Moisturiser, also from L'Oreal. I think I said long gone, but I meant L'Oreal. And I've been loving them. Loving their texture, loving their scent. They're very, very comparable to the Hydrazen. And yeah, they're like £4.50 at the moment in Superdrug, so yay! <laughs> Sticking it on the L'Oreal bandwagon, I've been loving the telescopic mascara. Not loving quite so much that the packaging, all the writing is like melting off of my packet. I don't really know why. But the telescopic mascara has the weirdest wand. It is like, um, it has no bristles. It's like plastic stick with a few spikes on it. I wonder if I zoom. Oh, wrong way. I wonder if you could see that. I can't zoom any further. But it's such a strange wand, and when I first got it home, it's such a strange wand, and when I first got it home I thought, oh gosh, I've just wasted nearly £10 on a mascara that I don't think I'm going to like at all, because the brush is just strange. Um, but actually I love it, and I think it gives me such long lashes, 
Oh, my hair, what's happening here? It gives me such long looking lashes and it's buildable, it's not too cakey and it doesn't um, flake, which I find a lot of mascaras do on me. So yeah, loving this and I'll definitely, definitely repurchase. So although at the moment it's all about the Kylie Jenner nude lip and all about the kind of the really berry red, I've gone back to loving Creme de Nude from MAC. Really basic nude, really sort of sheer lip um, colour. But I just love it. I love being able to put it on without a mirror. I love that it, I think, looks quite good on me. Um, I like that it's quite sheer. So yeah, I love this lip. I also love that it's glossy because I do do love Myth and it has been a long time love affair with Myth for me. But it's so matte, it's just really drying on my lips. So I just love Creme de Nude. To go along with the makeup theme, for some reason October was a makeup month for me, I discovered a new brand. And that is this. Makeup Revolution. They come in boxes like this um, and this. They are eyeshadow palettes and this is a brand that I think might just be UK based. Um, designed and developed in London. UK. Yeah, I think they are just UK based and I got these in Superdrug but they are available on the Makeup Revolution website and the Superdrug website so you might be able to get them in other countries. Um, Strange packaging, as in the pictures in the back aren't in focus, which really annoys me for some reason. I just I can't get over that. But anyway, they're such reasonably priced products that, and the quality is amazing. Like I can't get over it. <laughs> These are oh, so this is the Girls on Film palette. Um, I just think they're amazing colours. You have oops, six matte at the top here in the circle, and then. One, two, three, four, five, six, twelve um, shimmer, and they're just such lovely, lovely colours um, that I've worn a couple of times. I love this gold; I think it's just incredible. And I think this palette is six pounds or something like that, which is just an amazing, amazing price. And my friend actually bought me that. My best friend Lizzie, um, she bought me and my other best friend Kim. She bought us both the palette, and I used it the, the day that she gave it to me. Um, and then, so I loved it so much that I went out and bought this, which is the Flawless palette from Makeup Revolution. Um, I don't know how many matte, one, two, three, four, um, five, six, six matte colours, and the rest are shimmer to glitter um, shades, and they go all the way from neutrals to browns to pinks to greens. I've got burgundy, navy, blacks, and greys, which I think is an amazing colour palette, and I have already delved into many, many of the colours. Um, they just got such a good pigment. I mean, let me go for, oh, what should we go for? This one here. It's just amazing. Like, it's a kind of a copper colour. It's on my middle finger. I don't know if you can see. I'll go for a darker. This is the navy. Just there. I know I can't um, zoom in really, sorry, but they're just amazing colours. And I love them. Although the navy is quite dark, just to put that out there. But yeah, really amazing colours. And this palette was £8. Just to finish up on the makeup trend it is this nail polish that I'm wearing right now. It's by Barry M um, and it is red wine. I'm not usually a red person, but for some reason I really wanted a red, a dark red colour. It's not quite as dark as I wish it was, but I do really, really love it. And I'm now on my third week of painting this on my nails and I love it. Also, it's on my toes, so double love that is. And a fragrance, Gucci Guilty. Um, I wouldn't have... I hate the packaging, I'm just not a, a glimmery sort of girl, I wish it was just plain glass, but I do love the smell. The smell? The smell. I love the smell. <laughs> I can't describe it. But I, So the rest isn't, I haven't got that much left, it was pretty much a beauty week, but again, the Doc Martin shoes have come into play again. I have loved them this month and worn them so, so many times. They just edge up an outfit, they're so comfortable and they're amazing when it is rainy, sunny, you know, it's just a great all round shoe. And I know that um, I got these in the Doc Martin outlet. They are Doc Martin with a lizard print on them. Um, I don't know if you can just about catch that up with the light. And they're not available anymore. And I know they're quite expensive, so if you wanted to buy them full price now, they're 90 pounds. But believe me, they are so, so worth it. Once you get through the pain of breaking them in, which at the moment I'm breaking in my boots, which are so painful, um, but I know it will be worth it once they're broken in and I can wear them all the time. So yeah, a great, great shoe. 
And another fashion thing, another black leather thing, is this. It's my All Saints leather jacket, which I'm sure I've shown in another favourites video that I have done um, in the past. This was a present from my mum, actually, and she got it for me. I think it must have been on the turn of the summer because I didn't wear it an awful lot once I, when I first got it. But now the weather has turned sort of grey and a bit horrible. I have been wearing this jacket all the time and I get so many compliments. I just love it. Love it, love it, love it. And it's such a lovely leather, um, really buttery soft. So yeah, I would recommend All Saints jackets to anybody. They're expensive, but they really are awesome. Raglan tees are another thing. What I'm wearing right now, grey sleeves, white top, with a little pocket. I don't know why, but it's something about this sort of style that I love. It's oversized. I look not really sporty, because let's face it, I'm not. But it's just a bit of a classic, a different twist on a classic long sleeve top. This is from H&M, and it was £10. And the last thing, I'm going to be really cliche and say candles. <laughs> I'm sorry. I, I know it's really cliche and I don't usually, I, didn't, I don't get the candle thing apart from these ones. This is Fairy Dust um, by Lily Flame. I just love the smell. Apparently online they say this is the smell they pump into Disneyland and they pump it into the vents. And that was the story I was told by um, the lovely girl called Emma who bought me my first one for my birthday this year um, and this is now my third little one and I loved it so much I bought it in the big version which is actually ooh, the little ones come in the tin and you burn them in the tin the big ones come in a tin but they're actually glass which I think is lovely I don't like the gold L on it I guess if my name began with an L, I would really like it. If it was an A, I would really, really like it, but yeah. It just smells lovely, and I didn't think I'd be a candle kind of girl, but apparently I am. <laughs> oh, and I don't have one to show you, but I have a favourite food slash drink of the month. Um, I am not a hot drink sort of person. Um, I never order one. I've never had a takeaway of any sort of hot drink with me because I just don't like it. I like Coca-Cola and I like Coca-Cola. That's pretty much me. <laughs> um, but I went, went, I went to London to see my um, boyfriend this last week because I had the week off and we went to walk around Harrods and then we decided we wanted to go have a walk around Hyde Park. So we went into Starbucks before we went to Hyde Park and I thought, oh, I know, I'll be quintessential blogger here and I'm going to order myself a chai tea latte. I didn't think I'd like it, but I thought I'm going to be really cool and order one. So I had a grande um, tai chi, chai, not tai chi, chai tea latte and oh my lord, it's changed my life. One, I love the smell because I was smelling it as I was looking along like, oh, this smells just like Christmas and um, it tastes just like Christmas. It's amazing. It's like cinnamony and spicy but like tea and oh, oh, I just loved it. I couldn't quite get over the amount of calories that are in it, like 200 and something, um, but I love it, love it. <laughs> and I've been trying to make it at home um, and I, I think I'm nearly there, I'm nearly at the recipe, um, but I need a couple more tweaks and then I might do a video on it if you would like to see. Um, but that's it, that's all my favorites. <laughs> so I hope you enjoyed, I hope you had a lovely October and I will speak to you guys hopefully, hopefully really, really soon. Thanks for watching.